I am ADHD and snorting Adderall is something that I had never ever comprehended. I mean, this this is my meds. This is this is Adderall right here. Um, there's different meds for ADHD and ADHD, when you're diagnosed with it, stimulants affect us differently. I'm a recovering cocaine addict and co uh, cocaine affected me differently than what it did a lot of people. Um, when it comes to Adderall though, Adderall is one of the most commonly snorted ADHD medicines. Uh, you don't hear a lot about Ritalin being snorted. You don't hear a lot about Vizin, uh being snorted. Adderall is something that you do hear a lot about being snorted. And, and what we don't re really realize is, I mean, that is Adderall right here. It's a pill. And it comes in pill format for a reason because it's designed to be time-released into our system. It's not designed to hit us. When you, when you take Adderall, it takes it about 15 minutes to maybe even sometimes 20 minutes for it to hit my system. That's why I will actually use some uh, caffeine in between it to help kind of get the process started because stimulants, again, affect us differently. If you are not ADHD, those stimulants are gonna affect you phenomenally different. For me, it's gonna calm me down. For other people, it's gonna raise you the fuck up. You go to zero to 100 real quick. So snorting Adderall, and yes, I've snorted Adderall before because I thought I would outsmart the uh, big farm and why would I take it in a pill format when I can snort it and it's going to hit my system quicker? Because that's what ends up happening. The only major difference is when you're snorting Adderall is that it's going to hit your system in two to maybe five minutes. You're going to feel the impact and it's not a increase. It's not this slow increase. It's like, boom, here it fucking is. And you're going to be wired and you're going to be jacked. Your pupils might dilate a little bit. You're definitely going to feel your heart rate increasing a lot. Uh, you're going to feel the, those chemical properties change now all of a sudden in your body as the stimulant starts going through it. For someone with ADHD, it sucks because you're going to snort it. It's going to hit really hard. You don't feel that gradual effect and almost you become hyper uh, focused in a sense. And it drops you though differently too. So that's the thing that... that especially with ADHD, you don't realize is that drop. Um, Adderall does drop you. Uh, Ritalin does drop you. These do drop you. And what I mean by that is once the medicine is running out, it's how quickly does it get out of your system? Boom. It, it almost enters your system and leaves your system as quickly as it came. So all of a sudden, next thing you know, you're now stuck and trapped in your thoughts. So it's not this quick fix of, oh shit, I forgot my meds an hour, two hours ago. Let me snort some Adderall and I'm gonna instantly get the effects. Yeah, you'll instantly get the effects, but not of how it was designed to do. You're gonna instantly get these effects, and next thing you know, you're not being as productive or as, as getting the desired results from the medication as you wanted. Uh, a lot of times people will snort Adderall or pop Adderall like Skittles because it gives you that different feeling than someone with ADHD. I mean, it, I've had friends before that, that have come up to me and they're like, dude, uh, I went to this party and, and, you know, we all threw down for some, some pills because somebody said that it's going to get me high and I took it and it calmed me down. Next thing I know it was Adderall. I just spent $20 to fucking focus. Um, it, it, it affects us that differently, but it's also one of those things that just like with any drug, um, you don't want to abuse it. The more that you abuse it, it does have those addictive uh, properties to it that you can get heavily, heavily addicted to it. Just like uh, benzodiazepines, uh, like Xanax, for example, you can get heavily addicted to it. And once you get into that addictive side of it, and you're not using it for the medication reasons, the withdrawal is there, the, the physical dependency is there. I can say this with Adderall, the way that I take it, when I forget my Adderall, I'm not going through a detox of any sort. I'm more or less going through a why is my brain not stopping battle? Because it's something that actually helps me through life and through focusing. So taking Adderall to me on the time schedule that I'm supposed to, it now dissolves into my system and, and processes through my system as it was designed to do. I mean, they have Adderall XR, which is a time release. Well, snorting that stuff does no time release. It's hit your system that much sooner. I don't take Adderall XR because of how that time release works. I trialed and errored it a lot with my doctor to find out what works best for me. And it really, it came down to between 7.30 and 8 o'clock, I take 10 milligrams. And between noon and 1 o'clock, I take another 10 milligrams. And that's all I take for the day. And just because I take a low dosage doesn't necessarily mean that a low dosage is going to work for you. And that's why, again, it comes down to that trial and error with your doctor, communicating with them and not necessarily abusing it. The more that you abuse the drug, the more that there is a stigma about abusing the drug, the more that, that people will shy away from using the drug. Because as soon as we know that something's addictive, 
we can get this fear that we don't want to try it because we don't want to become addicted. Even as a recovering addict, I can tell you this, that I, I check myself all the time with my doctor when it comes to my Adderall. I, I make sure that I'm not abusing my Adderall. I make sure that I'm using it as needed. And I communicate that with them so that there is that comfort level they're knowing. And eventually if there becomes another medication out there that's even better than what Adderall is, I want to be able to maybe try it. Because it's always finding what helps us a little bit more and not giving up. And when we do abuse the drugs, the unfortunate thing is I think it hurts a lot of kids, especially earlier on in life that are ADHD, because I was diagnosed ADD when I was 14 years old. I was taking Ritalin and, and I noticed my grades increased. I was participating more. My anxiety went down. My depression went down because Adderall actually helps me with anxiety and depression because the more that my brain is running and I can't really focus, I do get depressed. I get very, very anxious. So taking this medication has helped me with it, but taking it as prescribed and not snorting it. And, and yeah, you know, I've mixed it in with cocaine before. I've mixed it in with a lot of this other shit before just to see. And should I have done it? No, I shouldn't have. Was anyone going to tell me any differently? No. But you know, I, I am very thankful for this drug because it is a lifesaver to me, where with some people, it's a complete nightmare. I mean, I know a lot of people out there that, you know, in their drug use, uh, have been addicted to Adderall and Adderall addiction, uh, is almost more respected than what cocaine addiction is, uh, which is funny because cocaine addiction, I think has one of the biggest stigmas around it where Adderall addiction doesn't Adderall addiction is like, dude, popping pills to people is something different. Like it's, it's that chemical dependency almost, uh, that gets them to talk about it a lot differently than they do any other kind of addiction out there. So crushing this stuff up and snorting it, I mean, it's not going to break up the way that you want it to. It's not going to hit your system the way that you want it to. And it's going to fuck you up. And if you are ADHD, all it's going to do is drop you differently. And it's going to actually fuck up that whole day because you're not getting the gradual increase. You're not getting the gradual decrease. And you're going to end up struggling through it a decent amount. Uh, so take it as prescribed. I mean, I can't stress that enough. Uh, snorting Adderall is just, it's zero fun for me. It was something that... You know, I have absolutely no desire to ever want to do again or even trial and error with doing just because this is, this shit helps me. So why would I want to abuse it? You know, why would I want to abuse the tools out there that help me the most? And you have to remember that when you are taking medication. Also, when you're taking it, don't sell it off to your fucking friends. I mean, the worst thing that you can ever do is try to explain to your doctor why you're out of meds a lot sooner than what you should be. And you're going to function so much greater when you're taking it correctly than when you're taking it incorrectly. I mean, this is why I started the nonprofit that I did, Driven Together, to bridge the gap between therapy and a crisis hotline. Because what do we do in that in-between time? I mean, it's sharing tools and experiences and resources of what it takes to fight through every single day because it's overlooked a lot. Uh, down below, I have links to the mental health discord. I have links to all my different social medias. I mean, hit that like and subscribe button. I'd love to hear, you know, your story uh, or your experience actually going through this shit because it's real. And it's something that the more that we talk about it, the more that nobody struggles with it. Uh, I have links down below even to different things on Amazon like fidget spinners and fidget cubes that help me when it comes to coping with my anxiety or coping with my depression. I have links down below to better help. I mean, it's trial and error to find out what works for you. It's trial and error when it comes to therapy, to find the right therapist. Don't give up is the key, is because you're worth it. And I know that it is a fight. I know that it is a struggle, but it's one that you are worth that fight. And you don't have to go it alone. That's the best part about it. And yet our brain will make us think that we have to go it alone. So hit that like and subscribe button. I'd love to have you along for the journey. And together we got this. It's an us thing. It's a we thing. It's a together thing. Every single fucking day.